2001, September the 12th, I realized the date that uh, the world changed. My name is Mohammed Shiraz, um, I'm a follower of Islam, which makes me a Muslim. Um, I'm currently a student and I'm studying initial teaching training at Muslim University. I was walking um, from back from school, had my school uniform on, and someone what drove past and shouted terrorist. And I was 16 at the time, I was going to sixth form, and I realised then the world had changed. I was sad, I was like, why would he say that? You know, number one, I was a kid. I had a school uniform on, and to say that to another, to say that to a child, this grown up who thought it was okay to shout terrorists at me, I thought I felt kind of isolated because I never thought of a, a me and them sort of society. I, you know, I had friends of different faiths, of no faith, and um, that had never been important. That would never been an issue, really. I never really talked about it. And from that day, it sort of became important for other people. We have six core beliefs in Islam. One is believing in uh, the oneness of God. One is believing in all the prophets that existed. Another is believing in the angels. Another is believing in holy scriptures. Another is believing in predestination, that God decides what is going to happen. And the final one is a belief in the afterlife. Um, I pray five times a day. Uh, one is uh, before the sun rises and the last is after the sun has gone down and it's completely darkness. Um, I think, especially in this modern day where we get caught up in doing all sorts of things, um, as a student I, I do have a busy life in doing my studies and teaching, um, focusing on um, gaining money and having on stresses in life. And those five times in a day, I don't have to worry about that. I can just stand facing the direction of the pillar. So I, I remember why I'm here, and it isn't to earn all this money, it isn't to get this specific job. It's, it's to, it's to, it's to um, know my God, and to learn my God. And through praying, I feel that I, I, I can actually connect to, to, to God. You show, you're showing in that, in, in, that, in that instance that you're relying on God. And that's the, that's the importance of that of, of uh, raising your hands to God is that you're, you're acknowledging that you need Him and that in God you have strength. I'm actually a director of a charity for the last two years. I've been involved in charity since 2000 and, uh, 2007. <laughs> um, basically it's to empower young people, uh, be they Muslim or non-Muslim. Um, but we the core uh, principles that which the organisation is based on is uh, Islamic principles. Um, what we want to do is empower young people to um, not only know their faith, but know their place in society. The group is called uh, Greenlight Muslim Youth Forum. I did my dissertation when I was at university previously on uh, um, looking at uh, masculinity and one of the pieces of uh, research that I read about was how there's an increasing number of young men who are taking steroids uh, well young men I say teenagers taking steroids to um, get to this perf perf uh, state of perfection I guess what my faith can sort of bring specifically to this is we have um, an overriding principle of being modest um, in dress, not just in dress, but in speech. It's teaching that we don't focus on the outside. That's what it's teaching. And I think it can bring a lot to modern society if that principle was looked at a bit, a bit further. You, you have your freedom of choice, um, whether you be a Muslim or any other faith. And I think that's one thing that I, sort of, I can stress here, that yeah, you can be a Muslim, but you still have to make that choice of being a Muslim. You have to have that choice of um, no, one, no one forces you to pray five times a day, no one forces you to get up before the sun gets up. It's your individual choice. Um, Islam is a mission. So I, I've taken it as a personal choice that this is what I believe to be true and this is what I believe that I should be doing.